Ah, I love this vocal. Before you came around, I was doing just fine. I think Dua did one, maybe two takes of this. It was the most like, yeah, we'll just do it now and probably redo it later, but then fucking Corona. So this is pretty much her demo vocal on the SM, on this microphone, in this exact vocal chain, literally exact. Let's go through the whole thing. Let's go through the whole thing. So on Dua, on this, this is a mono track, right? I have a de -esser. Usually, 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 I don't pay no mind. Nice little choppy chop. Usually, 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 I don't pay no mind. Ew, ew, look at that. Ew, Ian. Crossfade, what the fuck? Usually, 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 I don't pay no Uh, artifact? Usually, 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 I don't pay no mind. This automation is the image of the reverb. So, basically, for the first half of the song, the reverb on Dua only goes out to 50%. Is that 50 or 30? That's a 30. Ooh, 30. Yeah, 30 right here. So it's like... So in the beginning of the song, it's 30% wide. I don't pay no mind. By the end... It's me. Huge. It's me, baby. 100% left, right. 30%? 100. Well, when you're making any record, I guess if you're making pop... I mean, look, if you're making pop records, fine, whatever. Let's just stick to that. Like, you have to use every fucking manner of dynamic possible you don't have to i'm just saying this is like when I, there's a lot of elements in this song it's like i want i want to use every method i can to make it go from small to finale you know and like imaging is is such a fun tool because when the user starts the user who the fuck am i when the listener starts listening to the song you're defining with to them, that's 100% left and right. They think they're in a fucking cave or whatever, and they are they have a definition of what is the room that this song exists in. And then you blow their fucking mind. You're like, bitch, that was 30%. You're 70. Oh, shit. What? This song just blew the fuck up. That's crazy. Here's 100. Oh, shit. You know what I mean? Yet another tool. Image. Image stuff. Image is everything. <laughs> Just fine. Okay, whoops. Usually, usually, usually. Another great thing I always fucking do is cut my reverbs. It's easy. It's just easier than automating. You know, I have more control and I can do little fades in, you know. Suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. And that's a good, good little part because it's like the whole song just kind of feels like it stops for a second. Don't pay no mind. And when it came down, I was looking in your eyes. Suddenly, suddenly. Like it just goes away for a second, you know? Oh, the backgrounds. Love me some backgrounds. I was doing just fine. Usually, 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 I don't pay no mind. Um, Jesus. Oh, that's all gone. That's the old bridge. Okay. LFO tool is automating. For the... I've got a fever. When the... So can you check? On the floor comes in, the LFO kicks in. Before that, though. I've got a fever. Not so much the case. Um, all right. Those are the backgrounds. Let's see what's on the backgrounds. Shall we? Ah, oh, H delay. Boring. Love H delay, though. What else? Valhalla. What a surprise. Oh, the blue version. Oh, shit. Oh, I fucked it. All right. And OTT. Love us some OTT. Oh, actually doing some compressing. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, there's a side chain. Okay. Starting to understand. I don't know what. I've got a fever. Oh, the E. Ugh, oh, those, you know, the, the E of fever? I've got a fever. That's what that is. Ugh, oh, listen to that shit. So I notched that out because obviously the word fever is, is gets said a lot. And at one point I was probably like, ah, oh, gosh, that ringing. Anyways. I've got a fever. Very important. Two point, what is it, like 2.6, two, two one. Uh, everything around here is kind of around like, depending on the size of your ear, that's the resonant frequency of the ear. That's what, like, one of the harshest frequencies. Anyways. Uh, how far are the BGs pinned? I don't know. <laughs> oh, 70%. 
Wow, we went for it, bro. Jeez, heavy DSing going on. Yeah. My gosh. Oh, I mean, I would have used this setting now. I don't know. I, now I know better. But anyways, I don't know what the point of having, if you're, if you, it, it, I mean, argue with me. I don't know what the point of having sibilance is on, on doubles. Like, I only need the sibilance of the lead. I've got a fever. And that all of a sudden gives me this definition in the mono field, you know? Uh, and then, uh, wh why do you need sibilance in the backgrounds? I've got a fever. Like, they're getting pretty, pretty harshly individually DS'd. I've got a fever. As opposed to... I've got a fever. I've got a fever. I just think it's like... It gives you stereo image, but then definition in the middle, you know? I've got a fever, so can you check? You don't need all that. You don't need that shit. What would it sound like, though? I've got a fever. No difference. <laughs> all right, who cares? Moving right the fuck along. No, it does make a difference, I swear. So, right off the bat, on the lead. On the lead before all of this crap is these two. Before you came around? So you can see the reduction. I was doing just fine. Usually, 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 I don't pay no mind. And when it came down, with and without. Before you came around, before you came around, before you came. You the touch last, me, baby. Latter part of the vocal, so you can at least like hear how it's. And when you touch me, baby. Wait, did I automate the? No, I didn't. Amateur. Sometimes I automate the peak reduction. And when you touch me, baby, I turn I've got a fever. Um, okay. What else? There's gotta be some... Yeah. What else? Just vintage verb, huh? Again, two years old. Trying to remember. Uh, alright, so let's go over the main bus. Basically, <laughs> this vocal is just a mono track, and I bust it to a group. And it's only going through this. There's literally only two tracks. This group is just one track. So anyways, here we go. Um, that's gotta be... What is this? Two percent wet on the on the on the delay before everything and the vintage verb this is shouldn't be relevant because i printed the verb I've got a fever. oh perfect so you could probably see the actual vintage verb setting that oops oh darn it um that doesn't sound too much oh yeah yeah so it's just uh it's it's this th these are the settings of the verb on the vocal but remember that i printed it and then i put it into mono and compressed it a ton so there you go i was right on that was weird anyways let's go back to the so there's that's basically it's at zero the whole time in the actual group because i'm not using it i should have just disabled it but apparently i used a little bit of it there so whatever anyways next the uh, guy O T T, the boy. Usually, usually, I don't pay no mind. Touch me, baby, that's a red. And after that, nice little C two set to vocal. I don't do that anymore. I should. It's like the pre pre done ratio. Honestly. Touch me, baby, that's a red. I've got a fever. I've got a fever. Oh, C three for the E. Oh, some of the resonant frequencies. I've got a fever. Why did I notch that one? Probably for the verse, maybe? I've got, I was doing just fine. Oh, the... This one here. The do. Yeah, it was probably for those parts. So, like, if you look at the, the EQ, like, that on the on the little... Uh, usually, 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 I don't yeah, pay no... You can see that it's usually, like... Usually, 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 I don't pay no mind. You see the points that when it... it came you know, so it's peaking there, and for some reason, uh, maybe it was interfering with something. I don't know. Usually, usually. I get crazy about that shit. I don't know if this stuff really makes a difference, honestly. I don't think this is, like, you know, maybe one day if it bothers you, you can do it, but I don't really think it's makes a difference. Anyways. Usually, usually. After that is a side chain, which is being triggered by Albert. JK. It's being triggered by this guy. 
Very fast. So can you check? Hand on my forehead. Kiss my neck. And when you touch me. I should just. It's just a. a so this trigger track. Out of fever. Which you can't hear because it's, it's send only. Out of fever. But it's basically a transient. Out of fever. So can you check? Sometimes on... I do that. Sometimes I do that just to give myself more control over the uh, attack and release, you know? Because sometimes kick samples aren't exactly what you, or like the shape you want for your side chain, whatever. Anyway, so where are we at? I think that's about it, right, for this guy. Oh, and then the imager. Wow, 60%. I didn't automate that? Nope. Wow, okay. Oh, right, because I printed the fucking... Uh, this is irrelevant. Oh, no, it's not irrelevant. Wait, is the H delay ping pong? Nope, it's relevant. <laughs> uh, this was for the reverb. But then I printed the reverb, so I don't even know why that's on there. Cool, amateur hour. Whatever, who the fuck cares? What else? What else, guys? What else? What did I miss? Do you automate the vocal level before sending into the compressor? No. Wait, I mean, sometimes. Like, sometimes I'll do, like... Look, here, there's an example of what you're asking. If I'm automating the vocal level... Wait, who's texting me? Shit. I'm not... I'm not... Okay, sorry. String stabs. Yeah, I'll go over, this, I'll go over the string stabs. But, uh, real quick, here's the, uh... Um, an example of me automating the vocal going into this compressor by changing the level of it by, you know, I'm like, it's down by 4 dB here. And when it came down, I was looking in your eye. And when it came down, I was looking in your eye. Oh, yeah. That was supposed to be a moment. I don't think that ever came through. The I was was supposed to, like, change how it sounded. And when it came down, I was looking... Um, lame idea. Oh, but also because it didn't... Um, it, when okay, when auto tune was on the lead before I tuned it with Melodyne, I liked how the was went down. Was, and I didn't like how auto tune was affecting it, so I took it to a di different track. But I wanted to do this like weird thing that ended up not working. Was, because it wasn't clear enough. And when it came down, I was looking in your. Like it's like it's just like for what for what bro for what, why? And when it came down, I was looking in your eye. Anyways, so, uh, let's see. There's only... Right, yeah, it's, uh, this is, um... Pretty sure... I can't remember if Tristan did this or I did it. I, I don't remember. It's probably Tristan. I don't remember. All the effects, by the way. Printed. Brilliant. Brilliant. It was tracked at half speed, you know. Me what you wanted. Uh, but I edited it to shit. But that's why these vocals sound so weird. It's, it's just like the, I got new rules, I count them. You know, like, we tracked it at slower tempo and then sped it up. Tell me what you wanna do right now. Tell me what you wanna do right now. Tell me what you wanna do right now. Cause I don't really wanna cool it down. Tell me what you wanna do right now. Tell me what you wanna do right now. Tell me what you wanna do right now. Cause I don't really wanna cool it down. All the whispers are so sad. Tell me what you wanna do that's Caroline. This, this is Caroline Allen's voice. Oh, here we go. Here's the original tempo. Nice. Fucking preserve that at least. Is it double time? Tell me what you wanna do right now. Cause I don't really wanna cool it down. Yeah. Tell me what you wanna do. Tracked at halftime. Or or uh she did the rhythm of the part in halftime. And then with Cubase sped up double time. Tell me what you wanna do right now, cause I don't really wanna go it down. So we did two takes. Tell me what you wanna do right now, cause I don't really wanna go it down. 
It's actually the same take. Why did I do that? Tell me what you wanna do right now. That was dumb. What? What? Tell me what you wanna do. What? What is going on here? What is there like an entire part of the vocal missing? Dude, you're a fucking amateur. Bro. Tell me what you wanna do right now. Tell me what you wanna do right now. Tell me what you wanna do right now, 'cause I don't really wanna go cool it down. I don't miss you. Alright, uh... So... The... I wanted to, um... Like, the vocal eventually gets pretty smashed by OTT and C2. So, I separated the breaths. People do this, right? Like, this was too much breath. Too much breath. Too much, right? I don't need the breaths to be that compressed. So they're on a track right below, not going through the lead vocal bus. They're just going stereo out. Literally. Yep. High pass. Take out any low end. Completely unprocessed. Preserves the realness, and it doesn't compress the parts that I don't want to compress. Oh, you know what? Maybe these are mine because... Hold on. Yeah, I think so. No, it's not mine. Anyways. Damn, I thought I was brilliant for a minute. Damn it, Tristan, damn it. Anyways, the, the processing is the same as... I don't have Soothe anymore. As uh, that side chain doesn't really matter. Uh, see, I, I would like to say I thought about this, but I literally probably just copied Dua's vocal bus. And then I don't think I OTT'd it as much, though. Nope, same setting. So, it's basically the same as uh, Dua's. Probably just to match the sound, you know. What is this originally? I think that's, that might that might be Julia's vocal. Oh boy, this one's uh, this one's a doozy. All right, anyways, there's this vocal chop that goes throughout like the whole song. This is actually something that I don't do enough, which is kind of fun. So these are all chops of. Okay, so here's the original playlist of. What is this? Wait, what was... Whoa. What just happened? Was that weird? Did sound just... Did sound just cut out? Hold on, I gotta check my shit. Show player. Was that weird? Did sound... <laughs> oh my god. Never mind. Hide player. <laughs> Fuck. Anyways. So, what is this chop up in this... Looks like from the original home. Can I get just a normal track here? Because I just want to see what this is. Get out of here. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is from the session where we wrote, where we wrote it. For love. Fever for your love. Oh, see, I'm so smart. I'm like, you have to do it like this. Fever for your love. Fever. For, for your love mm. for, for your love I fucking love Julia what a voice what a brain all right enough about that girl <laughs> who Julia Michaels that's who <laughs> anyways so <laughs> that chop is that but anyways it's going out through like the whole song and it like it just keeps
keeps going and changing and evolving. Still going. You know what, there's this really fucking cool part that like, it's kind of in the background. It's this little, uh, oh, I love this. Like, forgive me, I'm gonna mute the vocal for a second. And I thought this part was so fucking beautiful and I was so pissed because as much as I liked it, it just didn't fit in the song considering the new parts and all the vocal parts and it's just this beautiful melody. Let me see if I can get like just the. Let me see. Just this and then. No, that's already too much. I just want chords. Let's just get the chords real quick. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna mute the chop because we don't need that. I love this fucking melody. Ugh. But anyways, it's in there, but just quiet. Ugh, I fucking love this part. It just doesn't fit in the song. Wait, I need to undo everything that I just did. I mean, I did try to fit it in. You can see the automation. Like, I took it out when I felt like it got too complicated to exist in, you know, because there's, it's the end of the song. There's, there's a lot of... Tell me what you want to do right now. Tell me what you want to do right now. You know, she's doing the... Over this part. Like, these parts do not go together. Right? So it's like, what, am I going to prioritize my production? No. I'm prioritizing the song, you know? Got to make peace with that decision. Anyways, so it's in there. It's just it's just chilling around the vocals, you know, kind of. Tell me what you want to do right now. Tell me what you want to do right now. Down. Tell me what you want to do right now. Because I don't really want to cool it down. Because I don't miss you. Says the voice. Gone. Yeah, it's mostly gone, but it's still there <laughs> in spirit. Anyways, that's a cool, what is that? It's like a little, let's see what this is. Get out of here. Let's zoom out. Oh, so much better. Look, I'm just like operating on full fucking cocaine level zoom. It's not that kind of stream, bro. Just a bunch of, I think Julia was just doing a bunch of ad libs, so it's Julia cut up a bunch. And transposed, you know, like every, you can't really see it, but on, uh, if you don't use Cubase, um, this little area up here, this transpose, it's like a real time transpose. It's really fun for placing samples, you know, and changing. Anyways, I do it with the mouse wheel. So it's like really just fast and I can like imagine the note transpose really quick. It's really easy. Anywho, well, oh, what a coincidence. That guy right there is just a little copy the things from the demo. Oh, you know what? This is a really important. Uh, where's that shit? Was a sample? Oh, yeah, the simp. Everything's printed. Okay, so that's the original. Interesting. And 